Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to insert data into MySQL table. So let's go ahead and create a table. We call that table customer. First of all, I'm going to drop this table. I might have this table already. So this table we are creating with the ID, customer column, first name, last name, age, phone number, date of birth, and gender. And then finally, we are creating primary key on ID customer column. Okay, so you can see from here, we have different data types for each of the column. Here for ID customer, we have integer so the values we will put in this column that should be integer it is auto increment so we really don't have to insert the values here in this column because auto increment will start with one and on each of the insert uh, there the, that will increase by one first name will be uh, putting a string values uh, and last name same worker that's the string values we, we can, can put, put in age integer and, and uh, then, then we have phone number that's uh, going to be string, string as well, well date of birth, uh, that is a date, and then we have gender, that's a character or string, and uh, then uh, we have primary key, we don't have to worry about that part because uh, that's uh, auto increment. Uh, let's create this table and then we will insert the values. Uh, now, how you insert the values in the uh, table in MySQL, so you will say insert into table name. In my case, the table name is customer, so I have provided insert into customer. Then you will list the columns in which you would like to put the values. Here, I'm putting the values in first name, last name, age, phone number, date of birth, and gender. So you see that uh, if there are some column that can be null, let's say in the uh, last name is can be null, and we don't want to put the values in there, we can remove those uh, columns. Uh, so for now, uh, let's insert into all these columns. And uh, here you notice that I do not uh, have ID customer column because that's auto increment. So the value will be inserted to by default. Uh, so let's insert the values. Okay, now we select the data from the customer table. And uh, you can see that uh, the first row is inserted. Uh, remember last time I was saying if you do not want to insert a value in the last name because that, that can accept null and uh, that's fine. Uh, and also other one can accept null as well. So you can leave if you don't want in. In this case, if I'm going to remove this one. Now you see that I do not have a last name. So I have only first name. And uh, I can change if I want uh, to change some data here and there. So uh, first of all, insert into table name, list the columns in which you would like to put the values, and then you save values and provide that in a starting bracket. And uh, if it is string, uh, have a single quote surrounded, then a comma for each of separation values. And then uh, uh, you have again next uh, value and uh, they keep going. Okay, so now uh, in this case, uh, what we did here, l first time we inserted only one row. There could be possibilities you would like to insert multiple rows and you don't want to repeat uh, this, uh, say an insert into column and just uh, put the column list and uh, values and have one row. So what you can do, you can put a comma after that and then uh, repeat the row you would like to insert. Uh, so here I'm going to go ahead and say Robert, uh, let's say 45. And date of birth, I'm not really going to care about that part. Okay. So you can have uh, after values, provide all the values for the above column and then uh, separate by the comma and then have uh, the next row of uh, the record that you would like to insert and keep going if you want. If you want to have more, then you kind of keep uh, providing with the comma separated and just keep inserting copy paste here. So here, like this. And uh, if you want to have more, then you can keep going. So that's how you can insert multiple values. Let's insert these values in the table. All these uh, three rows are inserted into the table. Now we should have four rows. OK, so you can see that we have ID customer. That's auto increment that increases automatically. Rest of that, uh, the first row was inserted separate. And uh, these three rows inserted in second statement right here we inserted. So this is how you will insert the values in uh, MySQL table. I'm using MySQL Workbench. doesn't matter you are using MySQL command line or Workbench or Heidi SQL. The script is going to be the same. Thanks very much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.